Okay, Roger, and your your never ending quest to uh, to be as green as you can to save the planet single handedly. Right? <laughs> what, what, how does it affect this? Well, this is a an electric scooter. It's a 500 watt um, hub motor scooter, and uh, you're supposed to plug it into the grid. But I thought, you know, I'll go one step further. Instead of uh, plugging into the grid, I'm going to plug it into solar power. So there's no no grid involved. So there's no zero emissions, you know, any way you look at it. So the idea was to save um, the planet, you know, not to put uh, carbon out into the atmosphere right. and uh, not to buy gasoline, uh, just if you didn't need to. And so that's what this is all about. I take it to the post office every day and I run it on these uh, 64. I've got two 64 watt photovoltaic panels. They call them solar cells and they go into this deep cycle battery over here which uh, stores the power and kind of acts as a voltage regulator because we're getting about uh, 20 volts from those things and this brings it down to 13 volts which is what powers this inverter so when I turn this inverter on it powers the charging circuit and I'm charging it up right now and um, it gives it 48 volts so it's enough to keep it going and I've been running it for weeks on end without plugging it into the grid. So it's completely solar operated. That is fabulous. And, and this is similar to the system that you use to pioneer the solar ice maker. Yes, it's very much like the solar ice maker. Right. So it's uh, <laughs> solar, solar scooting, solar, solar uh, transportation. OK, I'm disconnecting it now. Firing up the GPS, as I like to use it. I use it as a uh, speedometer. The, the one that comes with it is in kilometers, and this one is in miles. And uh, it also keeps track of where I've been and gives me a little map. So I, I can see uh, a little sort of a breadcrumb trail about where I've been. And then you see your battery meter goes up when the key goes on, see? And it's full. Okay, then I get it off the kickstand. It doesn't have reverse, you just have to kind of back it up like this, and then here we go. And it's absolutely silent. It goes about 20 miles an hour, which is fast enough. I'm really into solar. I think it's the way to go, as opposed to um, you know, drilling for oil, for more oil, and even nuclear. I think wind and solar are probably the best bets for uh, sustained renewable energy. And I've been inspired by this lady who's rowing across the Pacific named Roz Savage. Roz rows the Pacific. She's been there for about 45 days now rowing, and she's got these solar panels on her thing, and it's all self-sustained. Wow. It's really a great story. So she's kind of inspired me to go a little greener and, you know, take the green bag to the supermarket and have a refillable cup for, instead of getting disposable cups and doing this sort of thing. Uh, it's, and yeah, we're going to do a bigger solar installation. In fact, there's uh, a guy here today giving us an estimate on what it would cost to put solar panels on the roof wow. so we could run everything. You could just plug this then into a solar panel and you wouldn't have right, to have it out here. I wouldn't here. have to have it out here. This is kind of a makeshift system. The, the one we're talking about would be more like just plugging it into the wall. And when you see this, you realize that even, even in, a, in a small sense, it's practical that all of us can do I'm more. saving about a gallon of gasoline every day. So it's not about the money, it's about how many particles of carbon monoxide and, and carbon we're throwing up into the air. It's, it's a bad thing for the atmosphere to do that. So the carbon footprint when Roger McGuinn rides to the post office is zero. It is zero, right. And Well, if you take into account what it took to make the solar panels, right. I guess you'd, there would be a time when that sort of zeroes out. It, right. It's not quite there yet, but basically it's zero. People do, uh, they look at and they go, is that electric? I go, yeah. I go, wow. Cool. 